Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a cook with me video and we are going to be making Haitian lasagna. So this is a recipe that my mom taught me growing up and then with age and time I just kind of put my own little spin on it and added a few of my own personal touches. So all of the ingredients will be in the description box for you all to check out. So let's get right on into this recipe. All right, y'all, so we have two pots to start off with. This one on the right, I just have filled with water on high heat, and I'm throwing some salt in there to get us started for our pasta. Next, I am just chopping up our bell peppers that will be going into our meat. So I have a green, yellow, red, and orange bell peppers, as well as a white onion, and four cloves of garlic that I'm also dicing and chopping up. After we have those chopped up, we are going to jump right on into starting our meat. I'm just drizzling a little bit of olive oil into my pan and going in with some ground turkey to let it cook. You can also use ground beef here, but ground turkey is what I prefer. You want to make sure that you're constantly mixing it up as well to avoid any huge chunks. Next, I'm just going in with some lime, a whole lime that I'm just squeezing in there. Those garlic cloves you just chopped up, throw them in there. I really like this brand because it's already peeled for you and you're just gonna let this garlic simmer and cook with the meat. What would a Haitian dish be without a piece? I'm just throwing some of my a piece in there. Don't mind me, I gotta stock up on some more and I'm letting that cook in and marinate with the meat. We're just mixing some more to let all of those flavors integrate together. For our lasagna pasta noodles, this is the brand that I'm using from Organics. Don't worry if the lasagna is hanging over the water as it cooks. It's going to soften and fall into the water. I just follow the directions for cooking on the box and it said about 12 to 14 minutes to let this lasagna cook. I did this off camera, but the peppers and onions that we chopped up, I threw into the ground turkey and I'm letting it cook for a couple of minutes. If you like some pima and spice in your food like me, don't skip this step. Make sure to throw in some matooks. It gives a lot of flavor. I am telling y'all this smells so good already. Now to create our sauce, you're just gonna go in with some tomato sauce. I prefer prego, but ragu was the only thing I could find in the store and you're just gonna mix that in together and it's really gonna give some color to your sauce. Now it is time for our seasoning. Season to your preference. This is just what I'm using. I went in with some good ground pepper to get started, some black ground pepper. And then I went in with Mrs. Dash. This is one of my favorite like seasonings, basically for everything. Next up we have some oregano. Can't forget your garlic powder, y'all. some cayenne pepper for some more heat. Red pepper flakes, you can leave this out if you don't like spicy food. Some thyme. And also some parsley flakes again for some color. And you're gonna mix all of that together and let it cook for a few more minutes. 
Let's put this lasagna together. So I'm just basting our pan with some olive oil cooking spray. And then I'm going to jump in with some of that ragu that we used before. Just to kind of cover the bottom of the pan. Don't you hate when you eat lasagna and like the bottom is dry? I hate that. So I just go in with some tomato sauce just to add a little bit of flavor to every bite. Just went in and added a little bit more and I'm spreading that all across the pan to cover our base. For the bottom layer of our lasagna, I just drained our pasta noodles and then I'm just going in and covering our entire base with them. Be careful when you're doing this as the pasta noodles can definitely be hot. So if you're not too experienced with that, just be careful, let it cool, it'll be alright. I am also adding some cottage cheese in here. You can also use ricotta cheese. I know some people do that, but I just grew up with the cottage cheese. And after this, I'm just going in with some of that Mexican four cheese. You are just going to go ahead and repeat these steps up until you get to your last layer. I only did three layers today. Always make sure that your middle layers, I only had one middle layer, that that's like your heaviest. So as you can see, I'm definitely packing in a lot more of the ricotta cheese, the ground turkey, and the four cheese than I did for the first layer. Now this is the cottage cheese that I used for today. And I'm just spreading that all over as well as the Mexican style four cheese blend that I use for today. This is my favorite part y'all. I am just cutting up some jalapeno pepper. I'm going to put that over the top of our lasagna. If you like spice, make sure to leave those seeds in there. If you don't pop out those seeds, it also just makes the lasagna look a lot more, you know, aesthetically pleasing. Look at her, y'all. Isn't she beautiful? We're going to get ready to put her in the oven. So I am cooking this lasagna on 385 degrees for about 45 minutes. Make sure to go ahead and preheat your oven beforehand. I was always taught whatever I'm making, you need to have a side dish. So today I am going to just be steaming up some broccoli really quick to serve on the side. I also like to serve lasagna with green beans on the side as well. So I heated up some olive oil in this pan and I went ahead, washed off my broccoli florets and tossed them in the pan as you can see. I just went ahead and covered this to steam it for about like two minutes and then I'm just jumping in to season it again with that Mrs. Dash table blend seasoning. And then I went ahead and steamed it with the cover again for a few more minutes. And this is the final result of our Haitian lasagna, y'all. This is so good, so yummy, and so flavorful too. If you do make this recipe, please be sure to tag me on my socials that will be linked in the description box below. Thanks for joining me in the kitchen and cooking with me today. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this video for more cooking videos from me. And I'll see y'all next time.